Hello everyone, this is Mahesh here and welcome to the Celestial Quest. Today we are going to take a look at planets or more precisely grahas in Vedic astrology. Sanskrit word graha and English word planet are regularly used interchangeably but they don't really mean the same thing. Word planet is used to denote a celestial body that orbits or in other words revolves around some star. For example, planets like Mars, Mercury, Jupiter orbit around the Sun which is a star. On the other hand, graha is used to denote a celestial body or a point that has the property of attraction. Grahas exert considerable influence on the living beings on the earth. For simplicity, we will use planet and graha words interchangeably to denote the same thing on this channel. There are nine grahas in total in Vedic astrology. Since weekdays in Hindu calendar are named after seven grahas, I will follow that order to introduce first seven grahas to you. And finally, we will look at the remaining two to complete this introduction to grahas. So in the weekday order, the first one is Sun. In Vedic astrology, it is referred to by its Sanskrit names Surya or Ravi. The gender or polarity of the Sun is considered as male. In Vedic astrology, each graha has been assigned certain virtues. The Sanskrit word for this is Guna. Sun is considered to possess Sattva Guna which stands for pure virtues. The next one is Moon and Sanskrit names commonly used in Vedic astrology for it are Chandra or Soma. The polarity of Moon is considered female. Moon is also considered to possess Sattva Guna or pure virtues. Next comes Mars. The Sanskrit name for Mars is Mangal. The polarity of Mars is considered as male. Mars is considered to possess Tamas Guna, which stands for inertia or darkness. After Mars, we have Mercury. The Sanskrit name for Mercury is Buddha. The polarity of Mercury is considered as neutral or eunuch. Mercury is considered to possess Rajas Guna, which means passion or activity. After Mercury, we have Jupiter. It is called Guru or Brihaspati in Sanskrit. The polarity of Jupiter is considered as male. Jupiter is considered to possess Sattva Guna. Next comes Venus. The Sanskrit name for Venus is Shukra. The polarity of Venus is considered as female. Venus is considered to possess Rajas Guna. The next Graha is Saturn, known as Shani in Sanskrit. The polarity of Saturn is considered as neutral and it is considered to possess Tamas Guna. The last two Grahas are Rahu and Ketu and refer to as Dragon's Head and Dragon's Tail. These are also called Aprakash Grahas or Chaya Grahas in Sanskrit. Rahu and Ketu are lunar nodes, north node and south node respectively. These are mathematical intersection points where Moon's orbit crosses the ecliptic plane. Let's take a closer look at what are Rahu and Ketu. To understand what these nodes or intersection points are, we first need to understand how Earth and Moon's orbital planes look like. Take a look at the diagram on the screen. Let's first define what the ecliptic is. The Sanskrit word for ecliptic is Apamandala. The Earth is tilted at an angle of about 23.5 degrees to its orbital plane. Earth rotates around its axis in this position and also revolves around the Sun. Earth takes 24 hours to rotate around its axis and about 365 days to complete one rotation around Sun. The imaginary plane containing the Earth's orbit around the Sun is called the ecliptic plane. This is shown with a light blue rectangle on the screen. The Sun's apparent path through the sky lies in this plane and is called ecliptic as pointed out in the diagram. So why do we call it apparent path? We all know that it is the earth that revolves around the sun but from the earth it feels as if sun is moving along this path and hence we call it sun's apparent path. We all know about we all know that the moon orbits around this earth. Moon's orbit has an angle of about 5 degrees to the ecliptic plane. If you draw an imaginary plane containing Moon's orbit 
around the earth as shown with the tilted rectangle then this will also be at an angle about 5 degrees to the ecliptic plane. Moon's orbit crosses the ecliptic plane at two locations. The first one is when the moon is on the ascending path and the second one is when the moon is on the descending path. The intersection on the ascending path is called North Node and referred to as Rahu in Sanskrit. And the intersection on the descending path is called South Node and referred to as Ketu in Sanskrit. Thus Rahu and Ketu are intersection points where Moon's orbital path crosses the ecliptic plane. I hope it is clear now what Rahu and Ketu are. The polarity of Rahu is considered as male and the polarity of Ketu is considered as neutral and they both are considered to possess Tamas Guna. Neptune, Uranus and Pluto are not considered as grahas in Vedic astrology as these are too far and hence exert negligible influence on the living beings on the earth. This was a small introduction to grahas in Vedic astrology. Bye for now until I return with another video on Vedic astrology.